In today's video, I'm gonna be covering the new exotic chess piece called Ridgeway's Pride. I will go through how to get it, how it works, the best usage for it, and I will give you some gameplay with commentary. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. So to start off the video, how do you actually get the Ridgeway's Pride exotic chess piece? So compared to all the other exotics this uh, title update had to offer, this one actually requires quite a lot of steps and it's going to be tied to the new game mode Summit. So the first thing you have to do is to collect all the exotic parts needed for the chess piece. So there are five exotic parts and each one being tied to the different difficulties in the Summit. So if you played Summit, you've probably seen these boxes here that requires a key to open. So in those, you have a 20% chance to get the exotic part. So the first one being normal body armor, which you can get from floor 1 to 10. Then we have the hard shoulder pads that you get from floor 11 to 20. And then challenging hunting knife on floor 21 to 50. Heroic flag patch, floor 51 to 80. And legendary dog tags from floor 81 to 100. So as I said, you do need a key for this. Every chest is located on every 3, 6 and 9 floors. So that's gonna be before you hit the elevator and get like a new session. So if you didn't find the key, you could easily use a backtrack because all the NPCs are gonna be dead. So don't worry about that. You should be able to hear a sound when the key drops though. But you can always backtrack so don't worry. And it can be quite rough to get all the pieces. I think I opened 25 boxes without getting a single part. And that's like one of the reasons why this video is late, I guess. But yeah, so when you have all five pieces, then you just have to get to floor 100 and complete floor 100 and shoot the flare. And then you will get a project quest for the Ridgeway Pride chest piece. The first project, you need to donate a weapon with the saddest talent. Worth to know with this one though, you can just recal the saddest talent to any gun and turn it in. So that's a good way to do it. Then you need to donate a gear piece with a perfectly unbreakable talent. So this is the named badger called Zero Fs. I had a bunch of these, but I deleted them because I'm not a fan of this uh, chess piece. So I had to refarm this. That is also one of the reasons why this video is a bit late. And it also haven't been like a top priority, I guess. But yeah, if you don't have that one, just do loot target farm for Badger and you should get it pretty quick. It didn't take me long at all. Then you just donate the exotic component and then you will get the project number two, which is also the last one. So the last project requires you to do a little bit more. So you need to donate a lot of keys here for different factions. You need to kill some named hyenas, true sons, outcasts, cleaners and rikers. The way I did that was just to do the control point. I guess bounties are a pretty good way as well, but I was just playing with my viewers at twitch.tv slash wids and helping them level up the season pass and doing this at the same time. Then you also have to kill three rogue agents and hunters. You can find rogue agents in the world, but usually in my experience, they do spawn a lot in the summit. Actually, the first time I go on and play summit, they always spawn, so... You should be able to find them on summit and then also the last one there is to get three hunters the way i got that was just killing them at summit at floor 100. i heard another way to do that is to do the open world hunters with masks so that should work as well but if you trigger them yourself you need somebody else to trigger them but i'm not sure about that and i would definitely recommend to just do summit floor 100. and when all that's done you just hit the crafting station and you just craft the chest piece so now when you know how to get it Let's just take a look at the chest piece and see how it works and what we can use it for. Alright, so if we do take a look at Ridgeway's Pride Exotic here, you can see that everything here is kind of normal. The only thing that's being different is the talent here. So the talent is called Bleeding Edge. Shooting enemies within 10 meters applies bleed to the target. Repair 1 to 25% of your armor per second for every enemy within 10 meters. Repair strength per numbers of bleeding enemies. So for one enemy, 1%. Two enemies, 4%. Three enemies, 9%. Four, 16%. And for five enemies, 25%. So we can clearly see here for the first like three, for the first three enemies, you're not getting that much armor compared to like the fourth and the fifth. And I mean, 
looking at this instantly i think it's really really hard to get five enemies to bleed to get that fat 25 percent armor region and also something that i did discuss yesterday with a chat is that it's just too limited when it comes to range here so sure to trigger the bleed you have to be 10 meters like i can deal with that but i mean this would be nice to use in uh, some bleed builds but you do have to be 10 meters close to actually get the effect so i would love to see the the ranges here being increased and yeah even if that would be a bit too strong then sure like just adjust the numbers here because i feel like this right here is just too situational and i just don't think it's gonna work that well like to to make this work well there needs to be long fights which means you should go quite tanky and there needs to be a lot of tanky npcs as well so i mean i guess with that we're gonna just go into legendary later and try like some tankish build to see how it works but yeah i mean pretty underwhelming exotic in my opinion for summit i would have loved to see the memento backpack and that's a hunter backpack so that would have made a lot of sense to actually get but hopefully we do see some adjustments here and i mean i'm gonna check it out so maybe like i changed my mind but i have tried this one and yeah it's just too situational but it's also like looking at the numbers it's either like too good or too bad i feel like but we will try this and we will see what i think and yeah i just put together some <laughs> a really shitty build here just to like get the the a lot of tankiness right so at 1.5 million hp i should probably use a hella guard but yeah the build here completely random you just put on some blues the only like for the only purpose to actually see if we can get something out of this talent here right so we're gonna start with legendary probably we should have tried heroic first but let's just try legendary because they are a bit tankier we're using big dick shield here it's gonna be a chair six with a pistol and an artificial hive so yeah here we go i feel like i'm gonna get uh, rogues every time first day i go into summer i usually get rogue spawns i guess not but okay let's try to take some damage here of course there's emp there but i want to take some damage here Whoa. okay 10 meters he's bleeding okay <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah okay let's try again bleeding it's not close enough so literally one npc bleeding now you see the armor region i do have one piece as well i wish you could yeah i don't know it is 10 meter range like already bro okay he's bleeding nice i'm gonna get damage from being peed Like, I don't know, dude. It's just... I can already tell it's so situational, which I already knew, right? Like, I'm just trying really hard here to obviously get the efficiency. Obviously, you should just try and kill them, right? But, but yeah. I don't know. Let's just try to kill them, then. I don't know if this build is good enough to kill. Oh, we got rogue agents. It's gonna be really bad here. Actually, like, we might be tankier, right? Like, we're gonna have two, two of them bleed it all the time. So now we can see the healing here. We gotta be in 10 meters. So, no, the bleed is already over, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> this one is just so trash in my opinion. The bleed is just not long enough either. And they just go away like... Yeah, I don't know, dude. Let's go down to heroic since we, we're not gonna take too much damage, right? I think it's just better for testing purpose, but I mean, fuck, man. <laughs> There's gonna be some niche builds for this, I guess. But yeah, there might be some niche builds you can do with this. But I mean, overall, dude, I just don't see this being that good. But yeah, maybe, maybe you see me guys do like a M-Tash video where I will go back and say I was wrong about, about Ridgeways, dude. But I don't think I'm wrong, dude. At least for like the way I play. But it's like, it's not going to be good on Heroic either. Like, it's going to be good on Legendary. Because they are tanky. Then again, they aren't that much tankier. They just deal way more damage. But like, for this to be good, they need to be tanky. It needs to be long fights. But, like, the bleed effect is not enough on them, right? Sure, I could use, like, Creeping Death and stuff to, to like, get the bleed around. But they will move around. And, yeah, I mean, they will just get out of the radius. You just need to be way too close for this one. 
But let's see Heroic if we can even get some good showcase, you know? Like, that's what I'm only trying to do. I'm not playing like normal. I'm just trying 100% to get as many people bleeded to see, like, if we can get some good armor region. This is super easy and we're gonna be super tanky, right? Like, we could literally just bleed that guy. We can run here. Like, if we can't get five stacks here, then I, I don't know. It is pretty good because we have those guys following, right? The bleed as well doesn't do much damage. No, no, look at that armor region though. It's pretty good, pretty good. But I do wish they were bleeded like they were bleeding longer though. Like the bleed is too short. The bleed doesn't do much damage. The bleed needs to be longer, dude. Like, the bleed shouldn't do damage, in my opinion. It should just be longer. You see, like, they already dying, dude. There's, like, four guys here. Oh, I mean, that region is really fucking good when you get it, though. But it's just... I mean, will we really be in a situation like this? Like, I would have killed them already. Like, if I'm gonna kill them, like... Look, look here, like... Like, we, you kill them super fast. I mean, what's the point of it? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a really underwhelming exotic. Like, the only reason I farmed it was so I could actually have something to grind. Because it was, like, the last thing I have to grind, right? And I don't think you get much better opportunity than that to get five people. Because that was a lot of melee. Let's see if we get a room without melees. And it's gonna be way harder to even get closer close to what we did. Drones. Fucking drones, bro. Can you kill me quick? Let's see if we get a better room. Like, obviously, the drones doesn't work. So, I have robots here. So, there's probably shit here. Suicide bomber. I mean, you can't really bleed him. He's gonna explode. Another suicide bomber. Like... Some robot dogs. I mean, can't even make it work, right? Yeah, I don't know. I think we tested enough. Let's check another room, I guess. I mean, even here, it's just really situational on what room you get. Obviously, you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, right? This is obviously only for test purpose. But it just this just shows you how situational it is for you to actually get somewhat good use of it. We can get three NPCs here. This would have been dead five years ago if I actually tried to kill them, right? Now, I, I think the bleed should do way less damage and it should be way longer. That's something, at least. Like, make the bleed fucking longer, dude. Balance it in PvP that the bleed is not long, but, like, for fucking PvE, man. Oh, look at that healing, though. It's like, you're not gonna be in this scenario, though. That's the thing. I'm putting myself in this scenario. It, this scenario is never gonna happen. Like, it's never gonna happen. Because I, I would just kill them, like, so easy anyway. But yeah, maybe there is some niche, like, bleeding build you could do that would work good with this. I don't know, I'm not really too interested in bleeding. Bleed builds overall, but I don't even think it would work good. Because the 10 meter... The 10 meter distance is what screws it up. It needs to be longer radius, I think they should just work with that. And go from there like right now in my opinion this is the the most useless exotic it's like just too niche and too situational yeah it might work for some builds but it's all it's gonna be too niche dude like make it easier to get the actual armor region and lower these numbers like one two three that that those are the ones that you can get probably reliable right two and three but it's not enough like, you're probably gonna be having this one a lot. But it's not gonna be enough, man. Like, maybe you play in a group. Maybe, yeah, if I would play in a group, it would be a bit better, right? Obviously, solo is not as good. But even as a group, dude. Nah. Personally, I, I just don't see this one. I just don't see this one being good right now. Maybe I get proven wrong. And I, I hope I get proven wrong, but... 
in my opinion it's a shitty exotic it is not hard to fix it though it's i think it's pretty simple to make this actually work you could just increase the radius of this one for example make the bleed longer and do less damage have the same damage it have right now over time right so it would do i don't know what the bleed damage was doing 32k for me it would do 15k but it would be double the duration because the duration just went out too early too but yeah i think that's it about this exotic i was never really that ex excited for this exotic but it, i think it's worth the cover anyway but i think it's worth the cover anyway because yeah i mean a lot of people don't haven't got their hands on this and they want to know if it's good or not and in my opinion it's not but yeah thank you guys for watching this and if you are interested in more division 2 videos then make sure to hit that subscribe button i will be live when you're watching this video on twitch.tv slash wids i think i'm gonna probably carry some more viewers today some might have smgs so maybe i could try to farm this a little bit and get some backfires for you guys but that doesn't make any sense actually <laughs> But yeah, maybe do some carries on the Twitch and then do some more Escape from Tarkov. Super close to that Kappa container, so pretty excited about that. But yeah, catch you guys on the stream.